Hey everybody, it's uh, Wednesday, April 25th, about 3.15 a.m. Uh, I've uh, back here in the after repair area that I was working on last night. And during the uh, time I spent back here, I was um, promptly reminded of a very insidious problem that I have faced before over here on the port side in this very, very cute little um, frivolous compartment here uh, on the on the port side of the hull. If I can pan out, it's kind of difficult to get a good perspective, but this is looking aft toward the transom. Um, this, this compartment area was constructed, I guess, to make this place the space feel a little more cozy. Um, sadly, uh, this not only adds an absurd amount of weight to <laughs> to a boat that should be light on the bow and stern uh, for upwind tacking, which this boat doesn't do worth a damn. Um, yeah, so this cabin was expanded by f putting a superficial flare on the hull and coming over to the port side here, we're gonna squeeze in and have a look at how this structure kind of goes together. You can see that there's a, there's a false um, hull outer layer. It's basically a layer of three millimeter or so plywood that's been bent and glassed over. Um, the problem with this, folks, really, is these areas are not have not been built to be inspectable. And in the case of the uh, rotted out transom that I had here, <clears throat> this was caused by these, uh, these crappy, I don't know if you can see that or not, these really crappy uh, through deck openings here. They had a piece of PVC pipe. Um, partially bonded in them. PVC does not bond to anything. PVC is used as a release material. This should have been a piece of fiberglass pipe. And you can you can see that the bedding job that was done is just absolutely, absolutely horrible. Um, but in any event, over here on the, sorry, my light's going out. Over here on the port side, that opening uh, allowed water to come in this cute little crap box filled up with water permeated down through into this secret void and migrated down along the hull side through the inner layer that I had to strip off all the way down to the bottom here in an uninspectable void and rotted out the aft part of the transom. So when I, when I started doing this, um, after I tore out the transom and I realized there was water coming in from above, uh, <laughs> yeah, I was still getting wet spots in here after being hauled out on the hard. Um, everybody started asking me, um, dude, you have a massive hole in the back of your boat. What are you doing farting around up on the deck? Um... And my response to that is, is this. Um, the opening that I just um, showed you here over on the starboard side in this uh, little secret void here <clears throat> was filling up with water last night and making this wet spot here on the inside of the hull as it permeated through a staple opening. And this should not be possible at all because this entire aft section of hull is, is totally covered by a tarp. I have four layers of poly tarp um, very securely tied down over this. The entire upper deck area, six feet forward of, of this wet spot, um, is completely covered. And what is happening is further forward 
in one of the beam openings up on the deck that has yet to be sealed up because um, pressure has been uh, directed toward repairing the big hole in the back. Um, water is migrating down along a glue joint up here and coming all the way back down in along this miniature bulkhead and down into this opening. I know this for a fact because if we take our, let's see if I can find something here. All right. If we take a, a dipstick right here, I'm going to go into a forward section of that void. I cut another inspection opening in here. I'm going to show you how deep these, these things are. It's absolutely absurd. Come down in here, and yeah, that's like 10 inches, folks. Pull it out. All the way down in, we're dry as a bone. That's between this bulkhead and this bulkhead. I'll move back here into this area and we put this down in here, all the way down in, bring it up out, and how about that? I got an inch of stagnant water in there. And it's traveling from above. It's either coming down along here and making its way down this void between this inner hull panel and the side of this bulkhead or the outer hull panel and the outside edge of this bulkhead. It's coming from somewhere well forward of, of this point. Well forward of that point. So, uh, I cannot emphasize enough the importance of having a watertight deck. It is, it is absolutely imperative, uh, especially on an aging multi-hull. Um, these boats have tremendous, tremendous torsional loads. The global torsion, as, as I've heard it described, um, that gets imparted on the cross beams, um, the deck structures and the connective areas uh, where the forward and aft connectives, if you're if you're Kurt Hughes, um, forward and aft cross beam. If you're a desi designer like Chris White, you actually use more common terminology. Um, where these interface and and connect to the inside of the hulls, uh, those areas have have tremendous forces imparted on them and it is absolutely imperative that the core material in these areas is um, dry, regularly inspected and maintained. Um, otherwise these babies break apart. So if you're getting a multi-hull, whether it be a podcat catamaran, a rumoran, a trimaran, um, and it has a few years on it, you owe it yourself and your life to get a headlamp, get a drill, get a grinder, get in there with a vengeance, crawl into those amas, get down there in the bilges, get in anywhere you would even remotely suspect there would be a void. Take a hole saw, take a drill, take a dipstick, whatever it takes, get into those unknown areas and inspect them carefully. And if you find even the slightest amount of wet anything, uh, get to the source and stop it.
promptly. Fortunately, plywood can be dried very well. Um, drill a drill a grid pattern of eight inch holes, approximately two inches apart. Apply a heat lamp to it for a couple of weeks. She'll dry out. You can fill those holes later on and and barrier coat it again if you if you feel it's appropriate. I would I would suggest that with 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 caution. Um, it's nice if the inner layer is able to dry, but check these places. Know your boat. Your life will depend on it. All right, I'm going on 11 minutes here. Hope this was informative. Cheers.